I'm searching for okay. information about the 60s and Richard Nixon and the Watergate. Well, I'm working on the Vietnam War. Well, I'm working on the presidents. We got my historical event assignment. I'm working on my president. I'm looking up stuff, stuff about John F. Kennedy and the recent presidents. After we make the model, we're going to have to build the roller coaster. And for the business plan, we're going to have to, how many people going to come to our amusement park, how many rides we have. Right here is my research paper. It's eight pages, and the reason it's up here is it, sh it shows that I know some type of background about fashion. Like I research people like Perry Ellis, Christian Dior, Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph. Some of them teach life skills, not necessarily academic skills, uh, such as an organization's badge. The student has, as you see in this one, six tasks. Once they complete all six tasks, our goal is to teach them number one how to use a planner. An agenda. Create an agenda for yourself every day. Are we ready? And go! Okay, measure it, measure it, do it that far! This is a physics Olympics game. And we're having a paper putt, and then we're going to do a left-handed marble grab. You do the estimate, and then you do the actual. So again, if they made an estimation of their length, and they're going to do an actual measurement. Later in the lab, Carl pulled a sea urchin out of a tank. Sea urchins used to be so common around here that they, they carpeted the ocean floor. Learning through internship, which we call LTI, is a very powerful way to involve kids in learning. They get to work with someone in the real world who does what they're interested in knowing about. And then what they do there is connected back to the reading, writing, math, science skills that we want them to master back in school. Um, some of our students have had articles published in the Detroit News or the Free Press. We've had some students who've done artwork. So I think it, sometimes it's the product, sometimes it's the way they document the learning, and sometimes it's just the way that they've changed as a student. What font did you have chosen there? I think it was... Wasn't it a comic? I think it's up a little bit, yeah. Comic Sans, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, so now you want to finish off with your last bit of text there. Brandon has created a a, uh, a comic strip, and, and this is an action-adventure strip. It's similar to the uh, Marvel comics. So we worked through the characters in the first two weeks, and then we worked on the mechanics of the strip for the next two weeks. And now in these last two weeks, he's in full production. So every day that he comes in, he uh, starts with a blank sheet of paper, and then by, by the end of his two-hour session, he has a full uh, comic strip uh, drawn, colored, ready to go to press. One of the first things that we have them do when they first come in is to do some of the same procedures that we go through at the aquarium. Uh, the first procedure that you will see them do is where they walk around the aquarium floor inspecting each tank to see if there's any problems with the fish in the tank or if there's any problems with the tank themselves. Um, after that, what we usually do is we will go through a problem that we have in the aquarium which may require them to look under the microscope to look for types of fish diseases such as ick. I picked this LTI because I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up so I thought it would help me with the uh, experience. And what we're doing, we'll go out to the Detroit River and we'll, we'll be making, we'll be scraping zebra mussels off of a wall. And basically what the problem is with zebra mussels is they're, sucking, they're killing off all the other mussels because a bunch of zebra mussels uh, attach to the other mussels and it keep the other mussel from opening. So it's taking out all the nutrients, which is endangering all the other fish.
As you walk around our school, you can tell it's very different from a traditional public school. Learning is individualized to fit each student. Students learn more from projects than from textbooks. And our teachers really know every student and their family. Now, how do we know it'll work? We're part of a national network of schools modeled after a Rhode Island school that graduates 90% of its students from high school each year and sends 90% on to college. We're confident we can get those same results right here in Detroit. He has excelled. Um, he's very knowledgeable in the computer. Ryan has never had a typing class. He wrote like 14 page papers and typed them. We keep close range on the boys and what's going on in their class and when the narratives equal out to pretty much what we know is going on we know okay we're on the right track. She just flourishes. I mean the back straightens up, the chin's up here so I said you know hey you know it's, it's doing something before she would you know, but now she's carrying her back up straight. She speaks well. The proof is in my child. I like University Preparatory Academy because we go on a lot of field trips. Because it's a different way of learning. You learn at different levels. The independence and the freedom. The confidence and resolution. I like the independence and the fun activities that we do. We learn a lot. It's a good school. They teach me a lot of stuff. University Prep is the hyper school in the universe. Very safe here. It's fun. You get to do what you want and you get to make choices. And it's a great learning environment too.